five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and liftoff. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carrying a privately built moon lander blasted off early this morning from Florida. If all goes well, it would be the first U.S. spacecraft to land on the moon in more than half a century. It's due to arrive on the moon next Thursday carrying science and technology instruments. For more on this, let's bring in Christian Davenport. He's a reporter covering NASA and the space industry for the Washington Post Financial Desk. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So explain the significance of this mission. Uh, what will Odysseus be doing once it lands on the moon? Yeah, I mean, as you said, this would be the first American spacecraft to land on the moon in more than 50 years, since the last of the Apollo missions, Apollo 17 in 1972. But in addition to that, this would be the first ever commercial lander to land on the moon. And this is how NASA is moving. It's moving more toward partnering with the commercial sector as it looks to go not just beyond Earth orbit, but to the moon as part of its Artemis program. So this is a robotic mission. There are no people on board. It's got uh, payloads for science and technology development that ultimately NASA hopes will pave the way for astronauts to finally return to the lunar surface. So listen, uh, you know, other countries have tried to do this. I, the, what's coming to mind right now is Japan. Mm -hmm. um, there are some major challenges when it comes to nailing this landing. What are they? Yeah, no, it's 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 very difficult. Uh, I mean, there's no atmosphere on the moon. It's it's a long way away. Uh, it's a rocky, difficult terrain. You mentioned Japan. Japan, they made it, but landed sort of sideways. Um, last month, there was another attempt by a commercial company uh, working with NASA to do it, and they were unable to do it. Um, so they know. I mean, this is just the first step. It was a successful launch. Uh, the spacecraft has separated. It is communicating with the controllers on the ground. It's on its way to the moon, but this is, success is not guaranteed. And working with the private sector, NASA knows this. They know that some of these may fail, and they want to, as they say, take shots on goal, keep trying. And if this one doesn't work out, they've got another one coming perhaps later this, this year. All right, uh, Christian Davenport. Well, we're all crossing our fingers. Uh, it would be nice to see it happen. Yeah, for sure. Thursday. Very Thursday is what's happening. Exciting all stuff. right, thank you.